Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. I got a good one for you today. We're going to get into Ken Shiro versus Christopher Rosales. Uh, and I find a lot of people think it's really intriguing. Uh, a lot of people think there could be an upset possibility in this. I'm going to get into that. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Uh, it's also in that little ticker below. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Ken Shiro, uh, 23-1, 14 knockouts. Japanese fighter, obviously. Fun fighter in Japan. Close decision should go his way. Wide base, uses his jab, flicks it out there. Excellent feet. Uh, controls... The range with his feet, maintains distance, opens and closes distance with his feet. Good bounce in his step. Uh, front foot guy, likes to be up the front foot, keeps his head on the line too much. He gets hit too much, that's for sure. That's the bad. The good is he's got re really good pop. Stays on his front foot, and he can get you to shell up with his volume. He lets his hands go. He makes you fight on his terms. He doesn't have great speed. And he gets tagged with a jab. He goes to the body well. Really great feet. Really clean one-twos. He needs to keep that jab pumping. He does come in straight forward. He's a flawed fighter who's a good offensive fighter who's got flaws. I wish he used angles a little more, but he gets in and out really well. Uh, accurate from long range. Accurate with the counter right hand. That right hand, that counter right hand is really, really good. He blocks shots and counters. Right, He picks up shots. He doesn't throw much in between your punches. He kind of blocks and counters, uh, but he, he throws in good volume. He's got good pop. He, he throws. He mixes up his shots really well. There's a lot of things he does really well offensively. And like I said, he, he's he's got – Butker, you go back, he's, there's a brutal knockout there. He's He's got one-punch power. A good offensive fighter, straight in, out, gets tagged a lot, gets hit with a jab, and he's flawed. <laughs> Christopher Rosales, former world champion. A lot of Emmanuel Navarrete to him. Um, he throws in volume. He's got a quick, sneaky jab. He likes to be at long range. That's where he should be at this fight. My guess is that he's going to try to close the distance. Uh, he's an excellent volume guy. He's going to want to work on the inside. He just keeps punching. Comes forward. Uh, will fight in the phone booth, likes to fight in the phone booth. I don't think that's his best strength. I think his best strength is using his 71-inch reach in this division is crazy. Fatigue has been an issue with him. And you, you see he, he fights more in close later in the fight. You can see he gets tired and slows down. He's sloppy. He leaves himself wide open to be tagged. This is going to be an... Uh, Fun fight offensively. I don't think Rosales is the biggest hitter. I think Ken Shiro is a bigger puncher. I think that's going to play a part in the outcome of this fight. He said uh, Navarrete is not the biggest fighter. He gets a little wild to try to keep the fight on the outside. He, he lunges. He, he does a lot of things that aren't great. He's got a 71-inch reach, and he throws a lot of punches, and that saves him. His best defense is is. is Rain is his reach and his and his volume. Right? His best defense in many ways is his offense. He's slow. I, I think he's a bit faded. He's 30, which is – but he's been in a ton of wars, which is kind of old. I, I don't think he's the best version of himself. But he still throws in combos. He still throws in great volume. So there's still a lot to like about him. He's got a good chin. He can take a good shot. I don't see a path to victory for me. I think on the inside, he loses. I think the outside, he loses. I, I just think at this point, at this stage of their career – Ken Shiro, who is flawed, is a better fighter. Let's take a look at the odds. Let's get this pulled up. Ken Shiro. And we have no props. I, I, I don't know. Ken Shiro on the money line. We're down to 650 on this. Uh, a lot of money coming out. A minute ago was at minus 750. I, I like this. This is a great bet that we can build our parlay around. Uh, this is something. Ken Shiro is going to win this fight. Well, I've seen his best days. $100 bet is only going to make you $15.38. I could even up this 
and make this a one and a half times bet, one and a half times normal bet. 150 is going to make you 2307. So the odds on this aren't terrific, but they're getting better. I would look to lock this in now. Uh, I would also build my parlay around this. Build a parlay around this. This Sky Nicholson, we can come up with a couple of more things uh, that can help us make some money. But I like uh, Kenshiro. I like him to win. He's got a lot more left. He's got a lot left, a lot more in the gas tank than, than does Christopher Rosales, who I think he's seen his best days, who's sloppier and more flawed than Kenshiro. Any argument that you can make against Kenshiro being hittable, Christopher Rosales is 10 times more hittable, and Kenshiro is a bigger puncher. So for me, it's a recipe for failure for Christopher Rosales. You know, I like Christopher Rosales. I was high on him at one point. I think those days are gone. So I'm going to take Kenshiro on the money line one and a half times your normal bet, and this is a great bet to build your parlay around. Uh, minus 650, we can help bring this down with a couple other bets. Uh, Join the Patreon. We can get into that. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Uh, also, shout out to our new sponsor, uh, CarnivoreBar.com. That's CarnivoreBar.com. Uh, the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. It's great for weight loss. It's great for eating on the go. It is great for eating clean and healthy as you travel or in your busy day-to-day life. That's carnivore.com. Use promo code BOXING to save 10%. Uh, it is October 8th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.